last big Okinawa adventure. It is Memorial Day weekend, so it's a long weekend, so we rented an Airbnb up north, so we don't have to worry about like driving home in between, because it's like an hour or two hours to get, thank you, to get up to where we want to go. So we figured we'll just get an Airbnb sort of in the middle, so we don't have to drive all the way back home. We have a bunch of stuff we want to check off of our Okinawa bucket list. We just did one, which was the Busina Underwater Observatory. It's basically like going to the aquarium, but you get to watch the fish in their natural habitat, which is really cool. Um, what else are we doing? Some waterfalls, Kepedo again, some overlooks, just a few random things that we can get to see the rest of Okinawa. And hopefully the weather stays nice. It's like really cool and cloudy right now. Um, and hopefully the rain holds off. We'll see. Japan is in a state of emergency again for COVID from now through June 20th, which is like literally the day we leave. Um, so I bring that up because pretty much everything is closed. Lots of restaurants, businesses, even outdoor stuff. Like we just tried to go in, to an observatory that's blocked off, but it's really hit or miss because we even went to an indoor thing today, that underwater observatory that was open. So I don't really get what the rules are, who, why some are closing, why some aren't. Maybe it's up to the business themselves. Anyway, we found another observatory. We were here in the fall when we hiked Jawbone Ridge, which is this ridge back here. And then you can also climb this mountain back here. I'll leave that video linked above. Are you coming out? Honey? This is it for the night. <laughs> this is the toilet, our beds, and then the shower is right back there. And the best part, ocean view. It's got a mini fridge CD player. It's really, th there's no Wi-Fi, no TV. So it's like a really great place to come and unplug for the night, the weekend, whatever you want. It's got everything you need for the weekend. I mean, a cooktop would be nice and like a few like utensils so you could cook, but minor details. It's 
exactly where she wants to be. The last cigarette, broken fall. The race gonna be really soon. It was a nice, peaceful, slow morning today. If you don't know, we have a dog and a cat and they love to wake us up at like 4.30 or 5 or 6 every morning. So we got to sleep in today, just a little bit. We still don't like sleep in, sleep in is till like 7. <laughs> um, but we just ate our peanut butter and jelly breakfast here. And banana. And banana. We tried to feed the crows, but I think they're scared of us. Um, well, one landed and he saw us. Like, no yeah, so I don't think they're just, I think they're scared and waiting for us to leave. So we just sat outside and enjoyed the weather, and now we're gonna head back on the road, hit a few more things, more north. Today, Cape Hado, um, there's like a, a few like forest parks in the national park, the Yambaru, that we're gonna go check out, and then head back home this evening. <laughs> And maybe you should spend your time worrying about other problems instead of one person using one straw. Because our plastic waste is disposed of properly. And plastic waste is not the biggest problem in the world. I guess at a small level, plastic waste is something you can worry about. But it would be different if we were just chucking it out our window or disposing of it properly. Or using plastic willy-nilly. Like, we, you know, we try to avoid it as much as we can. Whatever. We're also in a plastic consuming country. That's all for now. We have one more spot we're gonna hit, which is this place I've been seeing a lot of my Instagram friends go to. And it looks really cool. Cape Keen. Keen. Let's oh, go. Keen. 
What? Okin. Let's go. I don't know. <laughs> so we couldn't get all the way out to the point that we wanted to get to but the beach was still really nice it definitely could use some attention maybe a beach cleanup a little bit of trash but like the sand is really nice the water is really pretty yeah that's it hope that you enjoyed coming along with us to some off the beaten path okinawa stuff because everything is closed due to covid yes. uh, wow <laughs> oh so if you live in okinawa and it's still covid don't be discouraged. Don't feel like you have to stay at home and do nothing. There's still a lot to do. A lot of the like outdoor stuff is still open and even a few indoor things are still open. It's worth it to call and ask or just take a drive and go see for yourself because if anything, at least you get to go for a fun drive. This is most likely our last Okinawa video. Stay tuned for a moving video. Not a moving video. If, I mean, if you're interested in like the declutter and packing, you can go to my main channel. If you want to see the process of getting from Okinawa to Las Vegas, that video will be next. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's already... Actually, oh yeah. Actually what? Everyone. What were you thinking? Nothing. Tell me. Nothing? Tell me. I was thinking next. I'm like, but, well, we have to edit. We don't have the computer yet. And I'm like, wait, you're going to edit this video before you edit that video. Yes. We've said it here, but we're flying from Okinawa to Tokyo, Tokyo to San Francisco, and then we're driving from San Francisco to Las Vegas. It was a big ordeal with the pets, getting the pets back, because they can only fly during certain times of the day because of certain temperatures. So it was either like a 12-hour layover in the airport with our pets and their kennels, or a 10-hour drive. So we're, we just took the 10-hour drive, because that was like the 12-hour layover plus like a two-hour flight, so it was going to not be fun. So we're going to go see... California for the first time. Both of our first times going to California. It's going to be fun. But anyway, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Bye! Deuces.